Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for May 11th, 2016. So thank you for being here with me. Thank you for all your support. Um, and keep an open mind. These readings are general and we're looking at the energy that is surrounding us. So um, please um, keep an open mind and an open heart to receive the messages that resonate with your situation and apply them. Um, so in a way that makes sense to you and where you are. Um, so the first card we have is the Ten of Cups. And so this is the influence of the past on our situation. This is in some ways the reason why we are in our present situation. Um, we had a Ten in our present situation yesterday. So it's a direct continuation of that in my mind um, because we're starting with the 10 okay so yes we're talking about an ending we're talking about something that came to an end that may have been scary that may have been overwhelming that may have been um, exciting perhaps um, there's a mixture of anxiety and excitement at the same time because it was the 10 of swords where something is put to rest that's it it's done but in this reading for today, it shows up at the ten of, as the Ten of Cups. And so I feel like a lot of us have put some things uh, to an end the day before. We may have felt anxious thinking about it because it was a Ten of Swords. So that was our thoughts that were making us anxious. But now with the Ten of Cups, I feel like we feel a release. We feel happy that we did that. Okay, so um, and then the present situation we have the nine of swords so this is not a very pretty card okay we're backed into a corner shadows surround us and we're turning away we're trying to find shelter we're trying to find safety now with the nine of uh, swords this is it's talking about our worst fears, it's talking about our nightmares, it's talking about our doubts, um, playing games on our mind. You know, I always say, um, with any big change, anxiety is natural. It's what we do with that anxiety that determines how that situation is going to turn out for, for us. So, yes, it's a big step that we took. Uh, it was a big move for some of us. Um, we had to muster up all the courage we had, okay, pretty much, to say, that's it, I'm done, I'm starting a new path. For some of us, it's a completely new path, like a new career, um, when you're supposed to be established in an old career, technically, okay, so to speak, just to give you an example. For others, we have left a relationship that we have been in for years and years. We were comfortable with that person. Um, and now we're just venturing off into the unknown, having to rediscover who we are away from that situation, away from that person, away from that relationship. Um, it may have had, it, it may have been an illness that ended. And so now we have to, again, rediscover who we are, come up with a different way of living, perhaps. It may have been a big um, change in our health and well being where. Um, now we have to live life in a different way with a different diet or um, having to include um, different types of exercise or, or anything that implies a big change to the way things were and we were comfortable with the way things were. And so with the Nine of Swords in our present situation, we're feeling the aftermath, we're feeling the anxiety where um, we are sat before this big door and we fought so hard to get to it and now that we're in front of it we don't know what to do we panic we get scared did i do the right choice should i go back uh, did i react too quickly did, did i not think think things through and so on and so forth all of that is going on in our head today um and then the energy that we're moving into is the energy of the devil again not the best energy um and again it ties in with the energy of the Nine of Swords. The, the message of guidance that we have for today is number two, patience. And this means be patient with 
ourselves. We should be patient with ourselves. We should focus on our balance, try to achieve inner peace, try to achieve calm, to dispel these fears. Anxiety is natural, okay? We cannot escape it. We cannot pretend it's not there. With any big change, it is natural. And it is that anxiety that is a spark within us that either turns into a fire that consumes us, where just doubt takes over us, and that's it, we're done. Or that spark of anxiety turns into excitement because we surround it with positive energy. Okay, we think, just to give you an example, when we get anxious, we can either start and start thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. This is a mistake. Um, I should go back. I should ask for my job back. I should ask that person to take me back even though they treat me, treated me very poorly. Um, maybe I shouldn't have sold my house. I should have, um, maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't be moving. That is anxiety that would take us down the wrong path. Because again, remember, everything happens for a reason. And if we liberated ourselves from a situation we were meant to, it's for our highest good. And by allowing that doubt to take us over, we are drowning that spark that is meant to be something that is positive. Or when we start thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? Look for the positives. Okay? Why is this a blessing? That's, that's a big lesson for us to learn, to change our perspective. And whatever, whenever something happens that we, we may not understand in the moment, the question to ask, why is this a blessing? Because we have to believe everything happens for a reason. Um, well, I do, and it makes sense for me. Everything makes sense for me by believing that. And so just giving you my example, not saying that you should be doing exactly what I'm doing. I'm just giving you examples for you to spin them around and apply them to your situation, hopefully. But if I believe that everything happens for a reason, then no negative situation is meant to be a curse for me. It's meant to help me learn. It's meant to help me grow. It's meant to be something positive. So what is positive in that situation? Why is that a blessing? Why... Losing my job is a blessing. Why losing a relationship is a blessing. Why um, losing my health temporarily or in the long run is a blessing for me. What am I supposed to learn from it? How is it supposed to help me grow? It's difficult. It does not always make sense, especially when we're dealing with a lot of heavy energy and difficulties and obstacles. It's not easy to go, why is this a blessing and actually see something positive in it? But that's the key, okay? That's the spark that turns something around, okay? That turns a situation into a curse or a blessing. And we are given the gift of choosing that for ourselves, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so I feel like if we allow for our doubts to overcome us today, we're moving into the energy of the devil where we've just liberated ourselves from something and now we're getting ourselves bound and chained to something else, okay? We're still in a place of feeling powerless. We're still in a place of um, feeling afraid. We're still in a place of feeling stuck and that we do not have control of our own lives. If we give ourselves some patience, some kindness, okay and say okay okay this is happening i've made this decision why is this positive what can i do with this that is positive i lost my job why would that be positive maybe now i can go out and pursue my dream job or maybe now i can turn around and look at those courses I wanted to, to do to expand my education or, or those workshops I wanted to, I've always wanted to do to expand a passion, a skill. Can I turn that into a business? Can I turn that into a job? And so on and so forth, just to give you an example, okay? The patience 
is giving ourselves time to look at the positive. The patience is giving ourselves the kindness of the benefit of the doubt. Giving ourselves the benefit of the doubt, okay? Don't jump to conclusions. Don't go to extremes. Don't, if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel anxious, don't make any big decisions today. Try to put them off if you can. If you feel anxious and you do have some time to pray, or to meditate, or to practice yoga, or to spend some time in nature where you reconnect with yourself, your higher wisdom, then by all means do that. Take the time to look at why is that a positive? What is it that we can do with that to turn it into something that is beautiful and creative and for our highest good and line with our own dreams and happiness, okay? So the key for today is be patient. Give ourselves time. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't make any big decisions. Don't go from one extreme to the other today. The message for today is peace, harmony, balance. Okay, it is a number two. So it's talking about balance. Give yourself time to find your inner balance before you make the, your next decision, whatever that may be. Okay, give yourself time to quiet the mind, to quiet those doubts, okay, until you can hear your intuition again, until you can hear your heart again, okay. And I feel like then things are really going to calm down. And once we can turn our perspective around and really focus on the positive, then we'll, we will have that feeling of liberation once more, of, of freedom, of taking charge of our own lives, and excitement as to what's to come, okay? So, um, it's a pretty heavy message, but um, it is important, I feel. It is important um, for us to hear this um, as we're going through these changes and transitions in our lives that we've been going through for some time now. I don't know if it's to do with the planets being in retrograde or not, I don't know, but I'm seeing a lot of changes, a lot of transformations, a lot of finding our inner power, a lot of strong lessons that we need to learn in order for us to graduate, so to speak, and truly elevate ourselves and be in line with the path that takes us to our own happiness, whatever that may be, okay? So I hope you find the message useful, I really do. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have a peaceful day. Um, and um, thank you again for being here with me. I hope this reading helped you. Thank you for subscribing, for sharing, for liking my videos, uh, for commenting. Thank you so much. I love hearing from you. Again, I'm wishing you a peaceful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.